Hey everybody, I've been meaning to do this video for absolutely ages and I know a lot of you have requested it and fair enough. I've done a few sort of hair tutorial videos, you know, how to achieve the, the big hair, like the big fluffy trade goth hair. But if you want the giant hair and you haven't done it before or you need some tips, I've got plenty of videos on my channel about how to do that. But the thing I haven't yet done is how to get the hair back down. And that's like a question that comes up in all these videos. Of course, uh, how do I get it back down again? And it's a question that I get asked in public all the time. Like, oh my god, do you ever brush your hair? How on earth do you get that down? Gosh, that must hurt so much to brush. Well, yes and no. I mean, it's not fun, obviously. Again, it's one of those things like it gets easier with time. It gets easier with practice. Other people I know who tease their hair probably have their own methods for getting it straight again. I know some people will put their hair straight back down at the end of the day which is probably the most sensible thing to do but that can be quite time consuming if you want to have teased hair every day or most of the time. I will normally leave my hair teased for a few days and then I will brush and wash it out. Anyway today I'm going to show you how I personally get my hair to go from this to this. <sighs> See it can be done. <laughs> A lot of people think I never brush my hair out. I, I, I do, because not doing so would be really horrible. I don't like this. I feel like it makes my head look small, so da 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 da. So to get the hair back down, you will need a hairbrush, shampoo, conditioner, and lots of conditioner. Personally, I like to choose volumizing shampoo and conditioner because why not? It can't hurt. And a hair treatment, a cure, or a mask. This is one of the ones that I like to use, but it's not my favorite one. I couldn't find my favorite one, unfortunately. It's another one from this L'Oreal Total Repair range. In Germany, it's called Wunderkur. I don't know what it's called elsewhere, but I'm sure you can find it or similar products wherever you are. Any kind of detangling spray that you can find, you don't need that, but it can really help. But the most important things to have are the conditioner, the hair cure, and patience. I don't always do this, sometimes I'll just go straight to the shower, but sometimes I will give my hair a brush out first. And when you're brushing out backcombing, you're basically doing kind of the opposite of backcombing. Like when you tease your hair, as you might know, you, you start from the roots and brush backwards, outwards like that. So to get that out, you start from the tips and brush that way, like you would when you're normally brushing your hair. You start from the tips of your hair and go towards your head. Do you understand what I'm saying? Does that make sense? Okay. Once it's a little bit brushed, the next thing to do is to get all the product out. I use a lot of hairspray and wax and gel on my hair to get it to stay up, so you gotta get all that crap out. I will shampoo and rinse my hair twice. Lather, rinse, and repeat. Always repeat. So I thoroughly shampoo and rinse out my hair, and then I thoroughly shampoo it and rinse it out again, just to be sure that all the product is washed out. Then I will condition, I'll use a generous amount of conditioner and leave that on for a while before washing it out. And after the conditioner is washed out, that's when I will put in the treatment or the mask. The one that I really like is great because it works in one minute. This one I'm using now works in five minutes. If I don't have a heck of a lot of time, I'll put in the conditioner and the hair cure at the same time and leave that for five minutes or so. After that, I wait for my hair to dry, I'll often give it a bit of a blow dryer help it out. Now this is where it usually gets pretty scary. See even when your hair is totally dry and you've just washed it like three times it might still be full of huge knots. I've had knots as big as my fist and like solid and like every single time I brush out my hair I think this is the time I've ruined it, this is the time I don't get it out, like I've, I've destroyed my hair, there's no way I'm getting this out. Every single time I have managed to get them all out. So like if your hair feels absolutely fucking terrible with fist sized matted knots don't be afraid, this is where the patience part comes in. So once my hair is totally dry, I'll chuck on something to watch, because I'm now in for the long haul, potentially, and I'll sit down and pull all the knots out of my hair with my fingers. Uh, that also is something you get better at with practice. Personally, I am like a master of detangling hair. Again with the brushing, brushing the hair from the tips towards the head, brushing away from your head as you normally would when you're brushing your hair. So yeah, the opposite of backcombing. It doesn't always take long, sometimes it takes like 30 minutes, sometimes it'll take a couple of hours, it really depends on how knotty it is. As for things like tangle teasers that are supposed to get knots out of your hair, for the price that they are, like 15 euros for some reason for a little plastic brush, I don't find that they really make a heck of a lot of difference compared to just a normal brush if you just do it kind of shallow. That's the other thing, I will usually brush kind of shallowly does that make sense like not really digging in there but just sort of brushing along the the surface and that somehow helps to to get the knots out for big knots i will like pull with my fingers and sort of 
do this sort of thing maybe you can see I don't know I'm doing it here uh, yeah just sort of pulling apart and then pulling separate bits away and giving everything a little bit of a shallow brush I know that other people have other methods and if you have another method by all means please suggest it in the comments below I know that some people find that just brushing their hair out in the shower is fine personally I just find that makes it worse um, I always wait till my hair is dry to detangle it but I know that other people have plenty of success just like brushing their hair in the shower and having the knots come out that way I don't know everyone's different and everyone's hair is different but that's just how I do it anyway and because it's then so incredibly frizzy after doing this I will then wash and condition it just like normal once more and then dry it and brush it out. But eventually the result is always that my hair will go back to being smooth and soft and tangle free. So yeah I really hope you found that helpful if you have any suggestions like I said put them in the comments below if you have any questions if there's anything I've forgotten to say also please put those in the comments below I can hear the hairdressers screaming now about oh my god how could you do that to your hair or people saying that it must be super damaged I don't think it is and I really feel like using a nice conditioner and a treatment and stuff that manages to kind of maintain its niceness the fact that I've backcombed my hair nearly every day for like a decade and it's still pretty healthy I think that's not bad so yeah I really hope you found this helpful and sorry for taking like a million years to get here around to making this video how to untease the hair if you have not already done so please subscribe to my channel click the little subscribe button below and as always take care of yourselves be nice to each other stay smooth and i will see you next time bye